So, just yesterday we got wind of a new refresh for AMD CPUs, specifically the 3750X and 3850X. Well, there's news again. Apparently, there might be an even bigger lineup getting refreshed. Not only that, but some big Navi 21 news have also popped up. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this will be a jam-packed boot sequence. Alright, let's start with Navi because God knows I've done enough Ryzen coverage in the last month or so. So it all starts with Rogame. He's a Twitter leaker, a super reliable one too. And today, he's kind of breaking the PC hardware internet. He just created his own website for his leaks and his first leak is a huge big Navi one. Essentially, he was able to decode all of the PC IDs and place them on the upcoming stack. This means we'll know how many high-end GPUs we're going to see from AMD, so let's get into it. Now for the actual specs, we only have the maximums, up to 80 compute units, which would equate to 5,120 stream processors, basically twice the amount that the 5700 XT currently has. The die size is also literally twice that of the 5700 XT at around 505 millimeters squared. Now that might sound huge, but for a flagship GPU, it's not. Nvidia's 2080 Ti is at 775 millimeters squared. And lastly, we have the power efficiency or performance per watt of RDNA 2. Big Navi or Navi 21 is 50% better thanks to the enhanced TSMC node refresh. It's not 7 nanometer plus, but it's definitely a new process. Now that is a lot of horsepower, but what does the lineup actually look like? This is where Rogame comes in. Just to clarify, the next section is part Rogame leaks and part speculations on my part, so keep a grain of salt. While there are leaks about data centers and Apple specific cards, I'm gonna focus on PC gaming here. From top to bottom, according to Rogame, the top of the line Navi 21 chip is the Navi 21 XTX. He says it takes the place of the 5700 XT anniversary edition which means it's probably the humongous 80 compute unit card with the highest clocks possible for gaming. Following that is the Navi 21 XT. He says it's similar to the 5700 XT. It could also be 80 compute units, but with slightly lower clocks. Under that would also be a big Navi GPU with the codename Navi XL. He compares it in the stack to the 5700, not in performance, just in positioning. If we were to transpose it literally, it would mean a maximum of 72 compute units or 4,608 stream processors. Still 80% more compute units than the 5700 XT, but that's just speculations on my part. And under that is the Navi 21 XE, which is the position equivalent to the 5600 XT if we follow the last speculated chip. It should also have 72 compute units, but I don't think that will be the case. So far, I've transposed those chips literally, but since 80 compute units is really the top of the line, AMD has a chance to give more space between each GPUs like Nvidia does. For all I know, the XTX, XT, XL, and XE could be anywhere between 40 and 80 compute units. Something like a 56, 64, 72, and 80 or 60, 64, 72 and 80 config or whatever other variation is possible here could be a possibility. All we can assume is that to match or to beat Ampere, AMD might have to hang closer to the top in terms of compute units for each cards, considering that with Turing versus RDNA version one, Turing had the upper hand in quote unquote IPC. IPC isn't really used for GPUs, but you know what I mean, performance per CUDA core slash stream processors. Moving on after these four models is where we get a little bit of a deja vu for mainstream consumers, the refreshes. So Navi 10 is making a comeback as Navi 10 XT+, Navi 10 XM+, and Navi 10 XTE. In order, the Navi 10 XT Plus should still have a max of 40 CUs. Thankfully, with the maturity that AMD has with the node, some higher bend GPUs are expected. As we know, Navi 10 overclocking is huge, with overclockers reaching 2200 MHz in a stable manner with water cooling. Because of that, I would expect some similar clocks for those refreshes. Just to give you an example, a 5700 XT clocked at 2.3 GHz is faster than a 2070 Super and right under a 2080 Founders Edition. 
position. For a card that would be placed fifth on the stack, it's pretty good. Right now, the fifth GPU from AMD is a 5600 if you count the Anniversary Edition, or a 5500 XT if you don't. For Nvidia though, it would be an RTX 2060. As for Navi 10 XM Plus, it seems this would be a mobile variant for laptops. Probably a better binned Navi 10 mobile chip, possibly even adding the extra 4 CUs missing from the 5600M. And lastly, the Navi 10 XTE Plus, a 5600 XT replacement with either higher clocks or just a lower overall price. Now, that was a lot of information, and if you're interested in the Pro variants or the Apple-specific variants, I recommend you take a look at Roll Games' article linked down below. For now, we're going to move on to power. So what's going to be AMD's plans with Navi 21? Are they going to simply grab the efficiency badge and do 80 compute units as efficiently as possible? Or are we going to see some insane clock speeds from RDNA 2, like with the PS5's 2.23 gigahertz? I think AMD won't mind shooting for a 300 watt TDP, if it means robbing the crown from Nvidia. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. All right, that was enough Navi for today. Let's talk about the Ryzen refreshes. So yesterday we heard of a 3750X and 3850X 8-core chips that are supposedly to be revealed on June 16th. Today we learned that either the naming scheme is wrong or that three other new Matisse refreshes are coming. This information comes from Hassan Mushtaba from WCCF Tech who uncovered three new SKUs, the 3600 XT, 3800 XT, and 3900 XT. According to Hassan, those would come in with higher clocks and allow for a price cut on existing models. This kind of confirms one of my predictions. AMD will probably stagger the hell out of Zen 3 based Ryzen 4000 CPUs, starting with the highest end. All right, so that was a lot, but that is pretty much it for the news today, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories, that I really appreciate. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here. Subscribe to the channel, stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.